Hello guys, today I am gonna give you a short review of a plugin called Actionbox. Actionbox is also a plugin for Tasker. First of all, you can download it from the Play Store. So, when I go to the Play Store, go to Play Store, and you will see here inside the apps, you can find Actionbox Tasker plugin. It's installed and it has also an icon of a flower. Just click on that and when you click on that you will see several screenshots what it can do. I'm gonna show you some examples inside Tasker. So let's open Tasker and let's open a task for example action box and I've made here several actions. So I'm gonna use the first two long press and enable those and let's see what it is. When I click on the play button you will see the condition and also the weather for a certain place. So let's try that play and you see here all the information for that place. So how can you make that? This is very easy. Go to action box and gonna edit that and you will see get the location yeah, live or the forecast of all of it and we're gonna use the language English of course and that will set the information to EB weather. Let's go back and the next thing I'm doing is just flashing the weather so I got all the information from that. You can find the action box in the plugins for example when I use this one plus and then we use plugin you can find here um, at the bottom here action box then you can choose other different settings so let's go back and the next thing I want to do is gonna disable that and I gonna show you what track my power amp is playing right now so let's enable that okay those are two actions when I go back to my home screen for example you will see here at the bottom uh, it's Adele if it hasn't been for love bonus track and you see also the cover so I know which track is now playing but that just for comparing so we know what it should say so let's go back to Tasker and let's play that and let's play it and it said uh, album 21 so let's change that action number 4 and click on that and let's say we want to use the one and let's try that again play it would say where it is stored the location on my phone so let's try to and let's play that again it will say the artist let's play far let's play it again it would say the track how do you know which variable you should use that's very easy go to action box click on that and edit that and it will use power amp you can use the current track info and you will see here one path to artist three album for title uh, five codec etc etc so when i use power amp one it will show me the path of that current track info when i use power amp two it will show me the artist three the album etc etc that's very easy to use you can also choose the current track info but you can choose also other things like 
player control, play fire, play folder, repeat, shuffle, equalizer, etc. So I hope you understand that. That's very easy to do that. That's the media control. So when I go disable that and let's use another one, gonna use those one and it will do actually the same than before. Actually I will disable 7 and 8 and I gonna use only 5 and 6. Let's try that. And you will see here long numbers popping up. So those long numbers are the latitude and longitude of your city. You can use geocoding New York for example and I'm gonna edit that and on the land name or the city name you can use that. If you don't know where it is you can use that in Google Maps etc or you can search for that. Then it will put the New York variable to EB geocode and geocode will result in the longitude and latitude. So let's go back and here I will flash the geocode. For getting the longitude or latitude it's easy for using this. The next action is the same. I'm using the same as action number one and two but this is based on five and six. This, so seven and eight are based on uh, action number five. So let's open that and you will see edit, you will see I'm gonna use the EB geocode as longitude and latitude and I'm gonna use live English and EB weather. So this will be that. Let's go back and uh, let's enable those action. Okay, and um, let's play that again. You will see the longitude, uh, latitude and longitude and then you will see the weather for New York. So it's quite easy to use all those elements uh, from ActionBox. Uh, remember, ActionBox is a plugin, is a Korean plugin, so it can be a little bit difficult to understand it. So for example you can use also auto voice remember that uh, geocodes and you can use for example geocode here you can use a plugin like uh, for example eb no filter etc etc uh, you can use your own variable and search for something and put that in geocode and uh, and getting the weather from that country or that city. Quite easy in only four steps and no splitting is necessary. It's very easy to do that. What can you do more uh, with that action box? Let's see that. Let's click on a plus button and let's choose plugin and we are looking for action box. Action box here and edit that and you can do several things you can search for a bus you can um, you can search for metro geocoding uh, geocoding weather shorten url uh, tts media scanner monkey script uh, root switch um, variable convert, karaoke, talk, power amp and calendar. So you will see a lot of actions you can do with that plugin. Uh, you can test them. It would be very interesting and it will be more easy to use some of this uh, instead of splitting variables etc etc. So I hope you like those. Um, and you can download that from the Google Play Store just like that. 
So if you have any comments, you can place that on my Google page. Thank you.